Now it's time for our next guest. Taylor Frey and Mike Wazalowski are rising writers and comedians who have just released a new book, Two Trains Leave Paris, Number of Problems for Wor World People. Use humor to offer readers an opportunity to experience math like never before. Everyone, please give a warm Bill Bunch welcome to Taylor Frey and Mike Wazalowski. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Nice. Thanks for coming on. Hi. Thanks so much for having me. Hi. 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 Thank you for having me. Good. How are you? Welcome. Thank Hi. You so How are you? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. Good to meet you. Welcome. Hey. Being here. So I'm, I'm so into this book because as Thank someone, you so much. I used to really, really like math, and then there came a time <laughs> when I just like started hating it. It was eight, it was calculus in senior year of high school, and I that's when <laughs> my my and then that's the last time I really did math, and then I've never loved it ever again. But reading this book, it seems like okay, this is a fun way to find math again, right? Yeah. Tell us about it. If you choose to find math. Yeah. If you choose to find math. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If you want yeah. to. As we say, calculus is the thing where uh, it's actually uh, like the midlife crisis of math. Yes. Mm. Uh, you can only get to it if you spend a lot of time thinking about infinity. Mm -hmm. uh, Jesus. That's it. <laughs> exactly. So I, it makes sense to me that like calculus is why yeah. when you would turn back. Um, but we go through a bunch of different subjects. So we do algebra, geometry, yep, probability, a lot of and statistics. In there. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the point is that you could read it and learn all the math, or you can uh, just kind of read these stories mm -hmm. and get involved in these people's personal problems, basically. But, yeah. And what was the inspiration behind writing it? Basically, it's like if you know word problems like we all do, uh, it's the sort of thing where if you ever read one that's like, John has 144 eggs. Right. And you ever wonder, like, but why? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but why? Why does he have why those does he eggs? eggs? So, so we just started <laughs> asking ourselves those questions. and. Started answering uh, them. Yeah, so we started writing this when we were working together in a sketch comedy group. So we met, <laughs> started writing together just down the street. We went to NYU. Yeah. So it's happy to be back here on our yeah. in our home turf. Love um, we love NYU. We love it too. We love being on the show. We love your your fruit and vegetable vibe. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Yeah. We love your mugs. Mm -hmm. Mugs. Um, your fruit and vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> we occasionally have bagels at yeah. a church. Yeah. Oh, okay, no. we were wondering about the food cheese. motif. It, it changes based off the mood, the weather, the weather. how we're feeling. Seasonal. Yeah. Seasonal. <laughs> nice. So the Farmer book discusses market. math is universal, but it's kind of often undervalued subject in school. Why do you think that is? Because it's alienating, right? Mm. And because it's hard to relate to, like you want to people. I think English or things like that can be easier to relate to because yeah. you can say, "Oh, well, here's how I see myself being involved in this." And math's kind of just—it's very um, objective. Right. There's not really a lot of room for you to relate to you it. You can't see yourself in a number. Yeah, you're, it, yeah. and right. it's very like—it's uh, <laughs> very black and white. There's not a lot of gray area, and people are just mostly gray area in my right. experience. Do you guys like math? I I'm hesitant to say that I do like math because oh. I spent my because I spent my whole life being like, I hate math. Right. And because I felt bad at it and I felt yeah. stupid. And then I think like I don't know if you guys can relate to this as a girl of being like then you get to the place where you're like, oh my gosh, like don't even talk to me about math. Like oh, get yeah. that away. I'm like bad I'm so yeah. bad at that. Yeah. And you just say that to yourself. Well, girls over. are taught that they're not supposed you're to be good at math. And science. once you realize yeah. that you're bad, you're like, okay, well, I better just like own it and keep it as far away from me as possible. And instead of like being in that middle ground of being like, yeah, maybe it's a little bit hard, but like, is it that much harder for me than it is for anybody else? Right. right. No. But I do like math more now after working on this That's book. Good. That gives me hope. <laughs> like, and I don't like it in the way that, like, I don't go home and be like, oh, I'm really, like, enjoying solving for S. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy it like that. But I was just telling you, I was getting super stressed out. I was, like, traveling a bunch, and I was like, geez, I can't, like, figure out, like, how to calm down, and just, I just got to do one thing at a time. And I do this thing where I'll, like, flip open a page of the book and just, like, put my finger down, and I landed on um, PEMDAS, which is the order of operations. Yeah, yeah. exponents, multiplication, division. I know. Please, okay. <laughs> Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Uh, excuse her for what? Why? What's she doing? She has Spins? hysteria. Right, She's yeah. up right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but I landed on that, and I was like, oh, like, just do just do one thing at a time. Right. I was like, okay, like, I just used math. I didn't use it how I thought I was going yeah. to, but yeah. I did use PEMDAS. I did do it. <laughs> and what was the actual like writing process for trying to make math fun? Because I feel like even writing comedy, like sometimes you can get lost and be like, is this even funny? So if I was writing a math book to be comedic, I'd be like, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> How, like, what did you guys do to not get lost in numbers? 
We kind of tried to think about what was going on behind the scenes with every character. Wow. Um, and we tried to think about why someone would be in a situation where they had to solve two equations, or like why someone would have to calculate a percentage trying to figure out how much to tip and things like that. Uh, so things that are relatable, but kind of pushing them to the extremes. Mm. And you were trying to teach me how to do math. So it kind of started by Mike being like, I'm going to teach you how to do math. I'm going to teach you how to like math. And I was like, cool, I'm going to teach you how to hate math. Right. <laughs> so, and then I think that conflict inherently like ended up making us laugh. Right. And we had each other, so we didn't have to do it alone. So you can always like have, it's like your friend. Mm -hmm. So Aww. that's kind of how we we're able to write it and have it be mm -hmm. so enjoyable, I think. Mm -hmm. And how are people receiving the book? Because when you hear a book about math, you just want to be like, uh, I'm not going to read that yeah. by choice. <laughs> but when I saw your book and I started skipping through it, I was like, oh, I'm having fun. <laughs> I hope you like it, because it's, 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 you don't have to do the math to enjoy this book, we hope. But right. if you want to, you can. Yeah. The are numbers. you fighting people on the streets? Like, read this, it's fun. <laughs> like, what are you doing? I think that like a lot of the response that I've been getting is, it's like it's people are curious about it mm -hmm. because it's like it's kind of a challenge yeah. of being like how are you going to even pretend that you can make me interested yeah. in the most boring subject <laughs> I ever had was exposed to. Right. So it's I think like part of the cell is just in the curiosity of like how could you even but make the, this possible. The title inspires curiosity. Two trains leave Paris. I want to know what happens. Why? What when? What what, what they gonna, when are they going to meet? I don't know. Like it's it just <laughs> A lot of flashbacks. Other things. Yeah. We're like, wait, a lot is it like a love story? <laughs> <laughs> oh, flashbacks. Oh no, it's the math bomb, SAT stuff, two trains. Right. You know, yeah. Exactly. But, but you guys met in Tish, right? That's yeah. right. Yeah. So what were you studying there? We met in Tish too, by the way. Oh, oh right on. Yeah. How are you? Um, we, we were in drama school. Yeah. You were in drama school. Yeah. Acting. You were in drama yes. school, and you wanted to teach her math. This this happened afterwards, but uh -huh. I, did, I, I did get out of drama school, and I was like, oh, oh, no jobs. Uh, and then, <laughs> go, 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 go. <laughs> and then uh, so I became a math tutor. Okay. Oh, wow. uh, I grew up, my parents are math teachers in a lot of my family, uh, so I had that knowledge. Just when you have a TI-83 at home, when you're four oh, years yeah. old, you, you, you pick stuff up. TI-83, uh, man, yeah. that got some laughs. Yeah. 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 Killing it. How long did it take you uh, to put together this book? About three years. Wow. Almost exactly. Wow. Wow. That's it's like impressive. Game of Thrones season this yeah. fall. Yeah, <laughs> the whole season. Yeah. I think this will hopefully be more exciting than the, than the, than the than show. The right now. Yeah, exactly. So you guys have a show actually tomorrow at the New York and Poets we Cafe do. in the East yeah. Village, which I love that spot. Oh, too. We do too, uh, So what's really. the show gonna be like? Well, we don't wanna give away too much, okay. but it's, you will not be asked to solve any math or do mm. any math at the show, mm. so definitely none of that. Sketch comedy, stand-up comedy, cool. yep. maybe a couple other surprises. Yeah, maybe some weird, circus, somebody doing the splits, we're not we sure. Don't know. We yeah. don't know, we don't know. But tickets are available now, where do they get them? Yeah, they, you, get you, them. Get, you can get them on uh, numberproblems.brownpapertickets.com is where you can go. This seems to be uh, our There's poster a, yeah. right yeah. there. Um, it, and while we have you here, yeah. we want to try to solve a problem. And you're going to walk us through that, right? We'd love to okay, do that. So let's Thank you so much. It's We're going to learn. Age math problem. That's okay. right. So, Take the lead. Uh, so, and thank you to whoever printed up these beautiful <laughs> yeah. cards. You can keep those. Yeah. Thank you. Amazing yeah. producers here. Laminate them. Thank you. Uh, OK, so this problem is, what's my age? When asked his age, your math teacher, Mr. Newman, responds, if you multiply my age by 4, then subtract 2, the answer is 110. Part A, how old is he? Part B, why does Mr. Newman talk B. this way? B. <laughs> yeah, which is the most important question. Yeah. Why is he talking this way? My brain just froze. <laughs> yeah. I can't, yeah. Uh, so if you choose to solve part A, which you can, uh, you would first identify the unknown, uh, which in this case, the unknown is Mr. Newman's age. Mm -hmm. uh, and we would choose a letter to represent the unknown. You want to pick a, pick a letter mark? Say I'll choose A. No. No, it's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Got to choose something more mysterious. Yes. So we'll choose X. X. Um, <laughs> X. Uh, and so then uh, it's if you multiply the age by 4 and subtract 2, the answer is 110. So you can write it as 4X minus 2 equals 110. Or you can do what I just did, which is start thinking about like just the unknown in general and get completely lost. Like, like oh, yeah, approaching hell and like, why am I searching for the unknown? I'm never I thinking find about it. black holes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It just sort of like creeps in on you, right? Yeah. Which mm -hmm. is totally okay, and you're still doing the problem. Awesome. There's no test. So. Awesome.
And to solve, if you think back, you can now, you want to isolate x, because the way to really figure out what's going on is to isolate uh, yourself from everything mm -hmm. else. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, 4x minus 2 equals 110. You add 2 to each side. 4x equals 112. Divide by 4, and you got 28. Right. And that's so the age. Your numerous 28. The These kind of math problems, math problems make me so happy. Like when I used to do this in school, like solving for x, mm -hmm. nothing made me more fulfilled. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you really? all felt the same way. It's just because you got the answer. You found out what it was. It's yeah. clean. It's organized. I'm with you. you. Your nerd is no showing. Can, <laughs> I'm such a nerd. No, I agree. I used to love math until I got a really mean teacher who was always yelling at us. And I was like, I don't know why you're harshing my vibe. Like, uh -huh. You're being so just negative right learn. now. Math mm -hmm. can be chill. And you, you guys show up. And I'm like, where were you yeah. 45 years ago? <laughs> Well, Taylor, Mike, you guys are not mean teachers. You guys are great teachers. Mm -hmm. Thank yeah, you thank so you. much for joining thank us. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.